student, my name is Confident. Welcome to our revision session. This is for grade 12 and I'm looking at calculus today and I thought of bringing just a few questions on calculus mainly it's as you can see it's a section well that is worth 11 marks in this quiz in this particular paper this is a previous paper and I think it is worth looking into now before I begin the lesson I will encourage you to subscribe to our channel if this is the first time visiting our channel or seeing our videos and you can also share this channel with your friends and colleagues you can uh, make sure that your notification bell is switched on so that every time there is a new video you are notified of this this will be very very helpful for you as you prepare for your final exams so as I said it's calculus and let us look at the first question 8.1 it says determine f prime x from first principles if f of x is equal to 9 minus x squared so now what you need to do you need to know how to do uh, first principles and now remember says determine f prime x in other words find dy over dx or perform the calculus from first principles that's the key there is to do from first principles if f of x is equal to that in as much as they've given you first principles you can do use the rules of differentiation a quick one just to know what your answer is if you use the rules of differentiation 9 becomes 0 minus x squared is 2x 2 minus 1 I'm using the rules which is equal to minus 2x so using the rules of differentiation I'm, I'm getting my answer as minus 2x now let us use the rules of calculus first things first you will go to your formula sheet and you are going to identify the formula for performing first principles and that is the formula f prime x is equal to lim h approaches 0 f x plus h minus f of x over h so you want to write that formula and uh, f prime x is equal to lim h approaches 0 then you have got of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h so this is the formula is again just to cross check that we have now the next thing is to uh, have your question and the question is you need to do f of x is 9 minus x squared so we have f of x is equal to 9 minus x squared just to give you a heads up you can rewrite this as negative x squared plus 9 so this is the same as uh, you can do it as is you can do it like that it's it's up to you how you want to do it but I prefer to do it in the second one here where it's negative x squared plus 9 so if I do that how do I approach that now let me start uh, with the first one which is my f of x and as we know my f of x is already given so f of x is equal to minus x squared plus 9 the next thing is to find my f of x plus h so my f of x plus h is equal to so where there is an x now I put that so this is what I'm comparing where there is x I put now x plus h so I've got minus bracket x plus h squared you see plus 9 and that squared means minus x plus h and another x plus h plus 9 now don't be tempted to say this is same as x squared uh, plus h squared it would be wrong you need to expand that normal way of expanding for now leave out the negative and expand the x and the x gives you the x squared the x and the h give you the positive x h and the h and the x give you the positive uh, x h it's supposed to be actually h x because the variable is the x so it's h x 
plus the hx it doesn't matter even if you say it xh it was fine and the h and the h gives you plus h squared and then close the bracket remember you have outside plus 9 this is equal to now this 2 will give you 2 hx which is minus um so that i just do it once this will give you 2xh and at the same time this negative sign i'm going to uh, distribute it so that i have now open the bracket it's like i have minus 1 now is minus 1x squared but it's simple negative x squared negative 2hx remember i said we add hx plus hx which is 1hx plus 1hx which is 2hx but with the negative minus h squared now is plus 9 remember the negative does not affect 9 in that case so when i've done that this is the the f of x plus h then i'm going to focus on it now the whole top look at the top now like that now this particular top it is f of x plus h minus f of x which is equal to i have f of x plus h there which is negative x squared negative 2x h negative h squared plus 9 and then it's minus f of x remember i have my f of x which is that so it's minus you put a bracket you say negative x squared plus 9 are you seeing what's happening there now this negative again you distribute it inside it will interchange the signs such that you'll have negative x squared minus 2 x h it's i i don't know why i always prefer to say x h but it's supposed to be h x which is fine though minus h squared plus 9 now the negative negative will give you a positive x squared negative and positive now will give you a negative 9 now if you see this carefully you'll see that plus 9 minus 9 and then we have got minus x squared plus x squared so there's always those things that are going to cancel out and then the answer you'll have is minus 2xh minus h squared then at this stage just factorize h don't worry with the signs just the h every time take out the h if you factorize it you'll have minus 2x minus h on the outside so this is that now when you have done that you're very close now you're going to write the whole part now of that formula without the limb so what you're going to have is our f of x plus h minus f of x over h which is equal to now the top part we have it here which is h minus 2x minus h over then we've got h the reason why i say factorize h is because this is what i wanted to do you need to cancel out that h so that what you have now is minus 2x minus h so now you have reached the end you can rewrite the formula if you want to say the formula is f prime x is equal to lim h approaches zero and it was f of x plus h minus f of x over h and you can see that it is this thing which has become that so it is equal to minus 2 now remember we're saying h must approach 0 so where there is h we put 0 so it's minus 2x minus 0 because h is it going to if you're saying h approaches 0 where there is h you put 0 so the answer therefore becomes minus 2x which is similar to the answer that we got in our quick uh, using the quick rules of uh, differentiation we got that answer as like that i hope this was making some sense now let us look at the next one here i'm just gonna work from it from this part it says we need to differentiate d okay it's dx one plus six 
square root of x this is too much but i think it was a given there what you need to know is what is square root of x remember if i'm giving you this root x you must change it into exponents and that square root is a bracket to the power half that's what that square root means so it will be x to the power a half so what you have here you'll have dx you have got 1 plus 6 now 6 dot or you can leave it but it's 6 dot x to the power half you don't have to put the dot if you don't want now the moment you you leave the d or you drop down the d that's when you apply the rules now you're going to differentiate dx of 1 so it's like you're saying dx of 1 plus now remember usually the number you don't differentiate but i'm going to write it like this D, dx it's dx of 6x to the power half which is equal to dx of 1 is 0 plus now when i apply the rule there i've got 6 i drop down the 2 remember you drop down that exponent and then you write your x then you say 1 over 2 minus 1 now you need to grab hold of my lessons where i teach you the calculus then you can be able to understand that now 6 times half it will be 3 x now half minus 1 it will be minus 1 over 2 so this is the answer that you get or if you want to simplify it further it will be 3 because of the negative sign it will be over x to the power half now x to the power half is 3 over square root of x it's not necessary to do this part but if you want to you can go ahead and do that so that is how you solve uh, this part for two marks the other one that i want to do is 8.2.2 says dy over dx if y is equal to that so they want you to perform again the rules of calculus now look at this if i'm given 8 minus 3 x to the power of 6 over 8 x to the power of 5 how do i simplify this what you need to know is that this bottom affects the 8 and it affects that so in general if i'm given for example m plus n over 2 this means the 2 is affecting the m so it will be m over 2 plus n over 2 that's what it means you have to distribute the 2 like that or i can give you an example if i've got 5 plus 10 over 5 so you know that i can simplify it going this direction 5 plus 10 is 15 over 5 and 15 over 5 is 3 but i can say this 5 it will be 5 over 5 plus 10 over 5 now 5 into 5 gives me a 1 plus 5 into 10 gives me a 2 a 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so you see that the answer is maintained so using that same concept what you're going to have here you'll have the 8 over 8 x to the power 5 minus because there is a negative sign in between which is 3x to the power of 6 over 8x to the power of 5 all right then which is equal to the 8 cancels into 8 you have got 1 on top please don't forget you have 1 don't just write x to the power of 5 like that as the result but you still have the 1 on top as the placeholder there because you cancelled so it's 1 over x to the power 5 minus now on top there look at this we cancel out or you can use laws of exponents but if you cancel out x5 you subtract 5 from 6 you'll have 1 so or you can use your laws of exponents which will be 3 x to the power of 6 minus 5 remember when 5 x to the power of 5 goes up it becomes a negative over 8 whatever case you are going to have uh, the answer which is 1 this is your y remember y is called to um there is another part 
I need to make sure I, I get rid of the fraction take x to the top it changes from positive the exponent changes from positive to negative so it will be x to the power negative 5 minus 3 x over 8 now I can then do my dy over dx so this 4 max part of the max was for you to put it into this form you find that already you have got two marks for that now to perform dy over dx now that's the final remember there is a one there you've got one times you drop this negative five and then you've got x now you subtract one from minus five so it's minus five minus one minus three it's minus five minus one then minus three now when you differentiate x x becomes one over eight are you seeing that and then when you simplify now to get the final which is called one times minus five it's minus five x to the power negative six minus three over eight so this was the answer some they prefer to leave their answers in positive exponents then it was going to be minus five now because of this negative you can take it back to say divided by x to the power of 6 minus 3 over 8 but the answer if you're not sure of how you can do it leave your answer with the negative exponent you're done so that is how you can perform the rules of differentiation as well as differentiation from first principles I hope guys this was of benefit to you now as I said subscribe to our channel keep watching our channel keep revising for your grade 12 and I believe you me you are going to ace your exam with a distinction check me again in the other lessons that are coming thank you